And so the time arrived to say goodbye to Simon's Town and Cape Town. It is a place of family and friends and many fond memories. It was our home and our base and a lovely place everybody should visit at least once in their life. And we were lucky enough to live here. Simonstown in particular surprised us a little and it's very different from the sleepy towns we stayed in before. There is so much history and character in this navy based town. In the just over a year we stayed here, the coffee shops became our offices and the restaurants became our spoils from the boat work. The town square and the market are meeting point with friends and the cobblestone alleys and beautiful houses etched on the mountainside an inspiration for photos and stories. It really did creep into our hearts and we were pretty sad to say goodbye. We've just come back from the shops. It's freaking hot in Cape Town and I'm packing away. We are leaving tomorrow. So these are some of our foodies, lots of fresh stuff and then a few backups um, and I'm prepping a couple of meals as well, need to do the dishes, so lots happening. But before we get to that, we had some celebrations and goodbyes to do. This one was with fellow liverboards Irene, Rolf, Beatty and Ken. Rolf and Irene did our route around the Indian Ocean Islands a few years back. And the very least we could do to say thanks for all the tips they shared was um, organizing Christo to serenade Rolf on his birthday with a very interesting version of happy birthday. <laughs> What I love about travel the most is probably the people you meet and often when you least expect it. And there's a very long story around a guitar that got passed down to us by traveling friends that we met a few years ago. And in letting go of all our goodies and selling up our house, this was one of those items where I knew it needed a good house. This guitar had a story and it needed to live a new life. So one of the liverboard couples, two, three boats down from us, had a dog and the dog passed away and, and kind of been sympathizing with Barbara and Richard losing their dog, I had this idea that this guitar needs to go to them. So I passed on the guitar, two days later Barbara caught up with me and she's like, I've got this fantastic idea, we're going to do a concert for this guitar, we're actually going to get all your friends and it could be like a farewell party um, and we're going to celebrate this guitar and celebrate it through music. And this is exactly what happened. It was more than eight months before we actually left Cape Town. We had this beautiful party, it was a gorgeous evening, and friends just joined in with music. Got a bath bag. So, <laughs> which we have is her safety Which must only be inflated on exiting the <laughs> So when you float, check it out. Tim and Christo, showing off the guns. Thank you. It's very thoughtful. Thank you very much. And 
although this party was like six months in advance of us leaving Cape Town, it worked out perfectly and it was perfect timing. You know, packing up your whole life, your whole house, and moving onto a boat, prepping everything, and then saying goodbye to all your family and your friends um, are pretty emotionally draining. And, and we really did also kind of run out of time towards the end. So thanks, Barbara, for organizing a, a party um, right on time in true German fashion. And thanks so much for everybody that shared in this journey so far. And um, we really love you guys and we'll, we'll keep you up to date and keep you posted. Lady of Hamlet, pick up your heels. Let's go out dancing to the jigs and the reels. Baby, the magic, we'll close our eyes. Pretend like we're flying, then we'll say our goodbyes. We'll walk together to the end of the road. I'll go back to paradise. My last little walk on our side before we head out. I'm literally, I've put the last stuff in the Land Rover. Bye! <laughs> See you! And I can see Barbara on our walkway. And this is it. Leaving what was our house. Just gonna play in here. Hmm. Just a little bit small, it's sick, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, but I did it, the sick was quite big. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a, a little survival bag. Good morning. We'll go through all of it later. Treats for in between. Barbara, Richard! <laughs> Aww. That's hard for your stomach on the seam. Yep. And a lot, like, and a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> oh, so, and awesome. we thought Thank if you, you are on wow. sea, and then it's the first time perhaps you come around a chalice. Yes. So that you say, okay, you can relax, and it's quite nice, and it's something is done. Then you can start to have a look Very through. Nice. And Jeremy uh, Beckshon, I think, is yes. with you. Yeah, then start to open it. Richard looked at me and he said, do you know that there are two days on sea or not four weeks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <I mean, no. laughs> Thank you. Well, wow, that's very sweet. Thanks. Exactly. <laughs> so we've packed the boat and we are sailing to Mazma tomorrow. Cheers to that. And I think we came to this restaurant like the first evening when we moved the board and we didn't have anything. And I, I like the evening. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so must so I... Let's first, I mean, look at me. They look pretty. So must I take a photo or a video? Not a video. Why? Why a video? I don't know. And that was it. D-Day <laughs> arrived. Okay. And no more fitting than voyage instructions from As Barbara. Of, yes. Or whatever. Yeah. Then you talk to the god of the winds and ask them for fair winds. Then you ask Neptune for good waves and a good sea. And uh, please take care of us. Then Neptune gets a sip of quite ha nearly half. So a good sip that he is not jealous later on. The next is then the skipper gets a class. And he says, okay, for a good trip and journey and safe traveling. And he takes the next big sip. And the rest is then a small sip for each of the crew. That's it. And you do it for every, every voyage, time. every for bigger if, trip? Not if we go only for, for five minutes. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> you could. <laughs> but why not? <laughs> so, but that is what we all the time do. That's an, a ritual. It has to be. If we forget... We will be punished because Neptune watches us. Lady of Hamlet, pick up your heels. Let's go out dancing to the jigs and the wheels. Baby, the magic will close our eyes. Pretend like we are flying. 
And that was it. The work was done, the lines were cast, and we were off. I never got a chance to take a photo of everyone wishing us fair winds from the docks. The excitement was way too high. We were officially off and starting a new journey. and Danielle. Thanks for stepping into our lives years ago and for leaving this beautiful guitar and just know you were missed on the evening but the music and the friendship lives on.